So I quickly made up a diorama of my kitchen. And I have a cabinet in the corner. And the range is next to it. I've got a window here. And the Hoosier cabinet that I'm making. It's a corner cabinet. So it'll go in the corner right there. As you can see, the flour sifter's right here. And be able to put sugar, salt, uh, all the baking sodas and baking powders and whatnot. All the bread pans can be in the upper cabinets there. The lower cabinet can be for the larger pie pans and, and cookie sheets and whatnot like that. But this is a representation of what I want to do in the corner here. And as you can see, I got a little bit of cleaning up to do, but <coughs> it'll be worth it. So today is January 1st, 2024, and we're starting our project with a cut sheet. This is for a corner cabinet. So you see it fits in the corner. Panel, panel, and doors, two doors. So now that we know how much wood we need, let's go ahead and pick it out of the trailer. I know there's not a lot of light inside the trailer here, but from my saw milling uh, wood, I have maple, I have alder, I have some uh, cedar up here, but we're not going to use that. And over here, I got some more alder. So if I'm going to paint the cabinet, I could definitely use alder. But the wife, she may want some of that maple. Well, we've got it all milled to the same thickness. So I have the boards uh, separated into color. This one, this set has a little bit darker pieces in it. And this set of three has lighter colors in it. I'll go ahead and select what I want to use for the front. That'll be seen. The rest will all be inside. That's next. So my 30-year-old planer for making the board straight on one edge before you throw it through the saw finally blew a belt. It's paid for itself about 18 times. So what do we got now? Well, we've got a new handheld. And the best way to use those is do multiple boards at once. That way you don't get off uh, square. And that should uh, plane up the boards nicely. Let's see how this thing works. Now take a look at that. I can do three boards at a time with that narrow a planer. All right, we're fitting it up. Obviously, we have the uh, rail and style to cut, but we're checking for top to bottom. So this is the bottom, that's the top. I'm putting the dollar store cookie sheets in it'll save a whole lot of maple and it's magnetic guess how many refrigerator magnets I get on there 
All right, you got the router table all set up. Got a test piece. We're going to run a rail. See how well that works. We'll get everything set up to where when we cut our good wood, we're ready to go. Well, there you go. I cut the edge of the pan off of this one, test it out, tightening it up. It looks like, it looks like I can go a quarter of an inch more on the style. So I'll cut a quarter of an inch off and run that edge down again. This is the first panel. So, we're getting it all straightened out on the first one. Next one, the rest of them will be easy. That's the way you do it. Well, there you go. One panel put together. Got the styles cut at the proper distance, so there's a gap even all the way around. Got the rails routered. It's all one piece ready for glue up. So as you can see here, this is what I'm cutting into the styles. The styles are the pieces that go side to side. The rails are the pieces that go up and down. And then on the end of the rail is the opposite cut. And that fits into it for a glue joint. So that's what these are here. All of those. So there's going to be uh, eight glue joints holding that panel together then I can tape the uh, metal and sand it up should keep it from getting scratched uh, did I uh, forget to mention that my art degree that taught me how to do this was from the third grade oh yeah make it happen <laughs> 